doing the video twice because we talk about it and then we hit record and then we talk about it. Well, when it comes to these videos, yes. But Young Justice, we usually don't. We're usually like, all right, let's do this. That's true. <laughs> Hey everybody, CoreCon here, and I'm Matt Kohler, and we are going to be talking about Young Justice and why we have to change it, and I know many of you are not going to be happy about it. <laughs> yep, or happy at all, just in general, with like everyone else doing reactions. It no. kind of seems like it might be an end of an era. Uh, no. I think it's, with anything, you have an overabundance, and then it comes down and becomes even. So, to, to get everybody on track of what's going on, I recently got a copyright claim from WBTV for every single one of my reaction, of our reaction videos for Young Justice. And here's, I, I'm going to put up a picture and stuff so you can check them out. But those were just claims. However, they all came in at the same time. Like within a 12 hour span, I got 23 copyright claims. Like there was some dude watching the videos and just hitting claim. And they were all manually detected, which means they hired somebody to go through and hit claim on all of them. It's not an auto. Auto claims happen within 20 minutes of upload. I will say this. We must have done a good job because now Warner Brothers knows about our show. Well, so Maybe not Warner Brothers, but, you know, the dude in the basement that <laughs> checks copyright claims from the <laughs> MCN, he, he knows. But he's not telling anybody. He's just doing his job. But also, uh, like, I'm a part of a group called the Reactors League, and they started getting, many of them were getting copyright strikes for animated shows. Uh, one guy got a copyright strike for Avatar, and actually, he got three strikes for different shows. Uh, My Hero Academia, and uh, I can't remember the third one, but... Some of these companies are handing out strikes, and we got claims. Now, the claims mean that they can put ads on our videos, and they can monetize our videos. So whatever. Now, I can't put ads on it, so I don't know if they're able to put ads on so it or not. I wonder why they got strikes and you got claims. It may be because I didn't monetize the videos, because I don't have... The ability to monetize the videos well you got lucky because well and the thing is like so, so they the can't strike you then because it's not like you're selling it at all no they can still strike it, they can they can strike because of a copyright it doesn't matter if it's monetized or not it's up to so the way the copyright thing works is you can create auto uh claim systems with youtube where if they get a copyright match, they can either auto-claim the video, which happens within 20 minutes of an upload, where it automatically claims it, and then all ad revenue from that video goes to the, the uh, claimant. And then you have copyright blocks, where that would also happen within the first 20 minutes, where the video is just automatically blocked worldwide or in certain countries. After a claim or a block happens automatically, it gets sent to the claimant and then they can decide if they want to do a copyright strike. And a copyright strike has to be manually done. Now, our copyright claims were all manually done because they just happened all at once, which means there was a guy that watched the video or at least part of the video and went hit claim. Maybe we should reply and ask if you liked it. <laughs> Do you at least like them? Yeah. Tell us your thoughts. Is there anything we can Put change? a comment down below. <laughs> <laughs> Share with your friends. <laughs> but he uh, or they would manually hit claim. However, the option to strike the video is still there. It's always there. 
So if they decide to, they can go back and strike every one of those videos and basically eliminate my channel. If you get three strikes within, I think it's like three strikes within 60 days, your channel gets deleted and everything goes away. And then you have to kind of know somebody in YouTube to be able to get the channel back. Most people, especially at our size, don't get their channels back. You have to restart it and create it somewhere else. I've been very aware of this on my first channel because Korakon Nala is up at close to 17,000 subscribers. And so there's MCNs that I avoid because they have given me a strike in the past. I've only had one strike and that was on mm. the other channel. But ever since then, I've been very aware of who I can do reactions for and who I can't. Now, what you were saying in the beginning of this video is, you know, is this the end of an era? And no, I don't believe it's the end of an era because within with anything that is new, and this is only a few years old, reactions yeah, have only really been- Yeah, because really reactions started, what, 2014, 2013? Uh, well, you had people like uh, Gator Martin, he was probably back in 2013, maybe 2012. Uh, Tyrone Magnus was one of the early ones as well. But they didn't get big until about three years ago. You know, mm -hmm. back when I got into it, it kind of was still in the beginning, but getting a lot bigger. And now it's really big. Like Tyrone's over a million subs. Jabby Koe, who's in my Indian group, I guess you would say. He doesn't talk to me or anything, but I mean, he does Indian reactions as well as I do. I mean, there's people who make in livings off of this. Yeah, like Tyrone and Jabby Koe, they're both full-time YouTubers and they do make a living doing the reaction videos. But with anything that is new like this, you're going to get an overabundance and then it's going to get pulled back until it reaches a happy medium. I feel now, like fan films had this like eight yeah. nine years ago. You had a ton of fan films that came out like a decade ago. Like it just seems like that's kind of died down. There's not as many uh, like that come out right away. It's usually ones that are really but like highly high budgets. Yeah, that come out now. So. I think we're we're starting the you know just like any wave it's got to come back and I think yep. we're the wave had hit we hit our peak of a of doing reactions to just about anything and now it's starting to come back to hit in happy medium. Now there's companies out there that realize the marketing value of a reaction video like Disney Whenever any Star Wars, Marvel, whatever comes out, Disney is asking for reaction videos. Like they do highlight reels that they put on commercials. They're well, like, yeah, because they see like Tyrone Magnus will get almost a million views just yeah. on his own reaction. So they're like, they're like, bring it on! Like, I mean, I see random YouTubers who have like two thousand subscribers who will have like three hundred thousand videos of just like of just like one of the Marvel ones. Yeah, like, and like uh, for Star Wars, uh, they have a YouTube channel called The Star Wars Show mm -hmm. and StarWars.com. And whenever a new movie came out, they would ask for reaction videos, like send us your reactions. And then they would, uh, they make a reel that they put on their show. Like they did, um, The Walking Dead did that. Yeah. You know, for... Uh, the show that they do after The Walking Dead, whatever. Uh, Talking Dead. Yeah, Talking Talk Dead. Which doesn't exist anymore. Right, but they did all of the, uh, you know, they highlighted a bunch of real uh, realtors. <laughs> That'd be interesting. Uh, yeah, Here's man. the best realtors <laughs> in the country. <laughs> well, it wasn't me because I left the career. But anyway, the reactions and then I think like four or five of the people in the Reactors League were in that real which was pretty exciting we had a bunch mm. of people in there but that's the thing like once you start seeing this kind of stuff where companies are doing like an over claiming and striking and blocking we have to adjust 
you know, just as the companies were adjusting to what reaction videos are, we have to adjust to what they will tolerate. You know, I wonder with like Warner Brothers, with us, with Young Justice, because that's, you know, we on uh, Coracon Nerd, this channel, haven't done any other really reactions. Everything else has been trailer or movie review discussions. The only TV show that we've done has been Young Justice, which recently got taken off Netflix. So it was going to be put on the DC streaming service. And that could be why Mar um, Because technically, the only way you can watch it is buying it on Blu-ray or if someone has it on YouTube to watch, like how we have. I mean, you yeah. could pretty much follow along the plot uh, if you watched. Because we put up usually, what, 10 minutes around there? Uh, I end up doing 6 to 8 for the most part. But you, can, eh, you should be you able can to do up to 10. Yeah, you could pretty much get a good synopsis of the plot or any of the spoiler stuff. I'm pretty sure if you watch, you know, season one finale when that comes out, obviously now without the reaction, you'd find out all of the insane spoilers, you know, all the insane stuff that happens in those episodes. True. And I don't think, I, you know, I can understand why they don't want that out because, you know, but well, also, the thing I mean, is, all of that discussion is already out there. If people want to yeah. just watch a discussion, they would know that information. Spoilers are everywhere. But you make a good point on that DC and Warner Brothers are starting to try and do their own streaming service. And so in preparation for that, they're going to start claiming and striking and blocking anything that goes against that. They are... The well, they are uh, going to go to an extreme, Yeah. just as reaction videos had waved. They're going to wave to the other extreme until we find this happy medium. But before we find that happy medium, we're going to have to take the reaction parts out. Now, yep. <clears throat> from today on, when we film a new video for Young Justice, they're just going to be reviews. So yeah. they're going to be episode reviews, which is the majority of our video anyway. It's just not going to have the allure of a reaction part. Now, that also means that our viewership is going to go way down because if you look at the analytics, people watch the reaction part and then click off to something else. <laughs> but the people that are really interested, that are subscribers to the channel... They're the ones that stay and watch the review part. And well, those are yeah. also the people that comment. You know, I know I mentioned this to you last week when I, I found out from you. I think we should try something else, something to add to the show, you know. Well, I, I, oh, it, go on. I was going to say, and if you guys have any ideas of things that you would want to see in – you know, our episode reviews, let us know. We'll, we'll consider it. But we're also going to turn all of these into podcasts. So I have a podcast, you know, it's SoundCloud. It's linked in the description below. You can check them out. But I put movie reviews, interviews for both channels, uh, all that kind of stuff, discussions, our other podcast stuff that we've done. So anything that is video but doesn't have visual cues that's audio only that I can take the audio and turn it into an audio podcast. I do that over there. And I think one of the things we'll add is creating these into podcasts. So I'm going to remove the reaction part for all of the episodes that we've done and upload the audio sections to our my podcast. And then any future ones I'm going to have uh, both on YouTube and SoundCloud. So if you like podcasts or you want to just hear what we say about the episode and you're working out or you're driving and you just want an audio podcast, check out my SoundCloud. I'm going to be working to get Young Justice up there and all future ones will be up there as well. So check that out. But we're just not going to have the reaction part anymore. And I know most of you are not going to be happy about that. How And it's going to decrease the amount of views that we get because we don't really have the, the name reaction in our title. It'll just be review. But, 
you know, I never really did this for the views anyway. I do this because it's fun and I enjoy it. And so the people that like the review part, they're going to be just fine. Yeah, and you get to hear uh, the two Matts actually sync up and agree mostly with ideas instead of our movie reviews when we do those for the most part. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. There's some there's some movies where we agree on, but oh um, yeah, I mean like Ron was like literally uh, a, a, we were paying tribute to Kira Kurosawa. Pretty much, yeah. It was more fan service than anything. Like we were like, this is so good. <laughs> <laughs> I I will say you know going back to like ideas because you know now that you know I think. People who've just been doing reactions, they have to change the game. Like they have to change something. Yeah, they will have to adjust. Like I'm, they can. People, I guess, consider me a reaction channel, but the only thing I react to are trailers. I don't react to other YouTubers' videos. I don't react to clips from movies. I don't react on the Indian channel. A lot of people want me to react to full songs. I don't do that. I mean, that's asking for a copyright issue right there but there are some channels that do it you know i only do movie trailers but that's because i see a movie trailer as promotional marketing material you're paying people to show your commercial yeah so i see a commercial as public domain it's your marketing material it's like why would you not want me to share your marketing material why, yeah. do you, why do you put it for free on social media and ask people to share it? So I don't no. understand the whole copywriting uh, trailer, movie trailer. I guess I can kind of understand the music that's in the trailer, but that's still wrapped up in a marketing material. So Yeah, that's, that's a little too much. It's like Yeah, I'm giving you free promotion for your commercial. Why would you not want that? Now, yeah. with the TV show... That's really up to the show. Like, I totally understand it if they don't want clips of their show out there. It's their show. I'm not using marketing material. I'm using clips from the actual show, and it's not clips that they decided that they wanted out there. Yeah. I can understand it. I'm not for it. I think it would be a good idea to have it out there the way that we have been doing it, what other reaction channels do, where they keep it under 10 minutes. But, you know, I can't do anything about that. So, sorry, guys. I know you're probably upset, but that's the reason why we haven't had a video last week is because of, uh, you know, trying to decide what we want to do with this. So, I mean, we're still, obviously, we're still continuing. Oh, we're not stopping. We're uh, going to be yeah, reviewing every episode because I'm wrapped into it now and the third and, season's coming Yeah, up. and we've, we've been doing it for a year, I, which is crazy it to think is, about. It is weird. Like, that's a year longer that I thought I would know you. <laughs> you know, actually, you might be right. Uh, we could have definitely not have clicked. No, just that first interview and then... Goodbye, but <laughs> then you Bye, said talked. nice talk. But then you said Sam O hung and Yep, it's like, that's oh. this history. I was like, whoa, someone else knows who Sam O hung is and your age. Like, I'm shocked that you know all the stuff I grew up with. And I'm like double your age. Almost. Dude, man, I, I I love history. I love I love knowing stuff before my. Time. I don't want my childhood to be known as history, dude. <laughs> oh, can you shut up? That's not what I mean. <laughs> I know ancient history that occurred before my birth, way yeah, back I, in the dark ages of the eighties and. <laughs> for cartoons, that is considered the dark age. That's true. There was a lot of. There was a lot of weird stuff that happened back in the 80s. There was a lot of bad cartoons in the 80s. And right. I like I love certain cartoons. But my gosh, they had its problems. Did you ever check out the intro to Gummy Bears? I need to Dude, you want you want to you want to react to that? No, cuz it'll copyright. But it's like fuck. <laughs> you got you got to watch 
you gotta <laughs> like I I used to love that show. Gummy bears bouncing here, there, and everywhere. Oh gosh. <laughs> but uh, uh, anyway, uh, you so, know, I think it'd be kind of cool if we do maybe lore talks, interviews with random people who've worked on the show. I would love I think to do be- that if we. The thing is, like, we're only at 225 subscribers or something, I think, which we've gained some subs recently, which is awesome. Uh, yeah. I, don't, I don't know what for, but they're there, and that's great. However, like, I don't know if I have the clout on this channel to be able to get those kind of interviews. That's why you use your first channel. That's why, then, <laughs> that's why we call this lying. Yeah. <laughs> I have 17,000 subscribers, just not on the channel I'm putting your interview on. (laughs) (laughs) No, that doesn't work. But Oh, man. uh, I could say, you know, maybe I'd be like, I got two channels, but your interview will be on this one because that's where all that stuff is. Maybe we should try. I I mean, all of it filters through the same social media, so it gets the same exposure when it gets shared. It just yeah. doesn't get the same exposure on YouTube's analytics. So, I mean, I will say, like, when it comes to like, like lore talk, interviews, um, you know, collabing with other YouTubers just on certain episodes, you know, just have them, you know, bring like if it's like, hey, have you seen Young Justice? Like, you want to watch like, you know, this episode, and then we talk about it. Like, I think that'd be interesting. So I have an idea, and I'll say it right on camera. You haven't heard this idea yet. And I'm curious, what if we brought in a viewer into a discussion? Oh, yeah. We did talk about that, actually. Did we? Okay. So, what about... Oh, see, you're even looking... You're even no, I, no, like no, no, no. I do, I'm, I'll I do take remember. someone else's idea. Make it my own. <laughs> uh, yeah, totally. I think Matt gave me this idea a while ago. I'll steal it and say I did it. No, I I do remember that conversation now, and I was a little (laughs) iffy on it at the time. But I think it would work. And we do it with the three frame like we do with when we have Ian on. Yep. I don't know if I could do a fourth person. I I mean, we could just start with one. I mean, we consistently have around 100 plus people who watch it. Right. Well, and maybe we could turn it into... If there's enough interest out there, maybe I could turn it into some kind of a contest and the contest winner gets to be on the next episode or something. Yeah. Or have a, you know, have another video where we do a talk with a, uh, you know, a subscriber, as long as you got Skype. So. Because like, like, you know, movie reviews and television reviews has a very big audience. It's just not on really YouTube. You know, Grace Randolph does movie reviews. There are there are there are people out there. Grace Randolph, Jeremy something, like uh, Mister M- Movie Review Sunday or whatever. Like they all have like five hundred plus thousand subscribers, and they don't you know do rea- I mean they do reactions sometimes, but they do you know just movie reviews where they're just talking. Yeah, you know uh, Jeremy Johns does that also. There we go. That that's who I was thinking of. He'll he'll review a trailer or have a discussion on a trailer or a TV show instead of doing a reaction. And I think that's where I'm going to end up going, but I'm still going to do reactions to movie trailers because I oh. see them as marketing material. I'm just not going to do reactions to shows. Uh, and when we do Avatar, it's going to be the same thing. We're going to review the episodes. We're just not going to react. So yeah. comment below and let us know your thoughts. Would you be interested in being on the channel with a, a little fan collab or a subscriber collab to discuss the show or anything else? I'm sorry. I know a lot of you are not going to be happy about the fact that the reactions aren't there. But if you enjoy the review part, that's what you're going to get. And, or if you haven't watched them, watch them because, you know, that's what this is all about is, you know, knowing more, uh, you know, about the show, wanting more from the show. You know, as a fan, whenever I love something, I want to know as much as I can about something. So, you know, if you, if you enjoy well, the, Young Justice. 
Well, there are know. people that watch it because if oh, you Oh, yeah, look, I know. They correct yeah, if, me all the time. Yeah, if you look at the comments, that's where all of the comments come from is people talking about or correcting us or whatever. Hey, that other guy who's with you sure doesn't know what he's talking about. Yeah, well, no, I know. I, I just bring him on just to make him feel happy. I've been corrected <laughs> also, so it's all good. But comment below. Let us know your thoughts. If you have any other ideas that you would like to see besides the podcast or having subscribers come in on a video, let us know your ideas. I'm open to anything that uh, we may not do it, but I'm opening to any suggestions. I want to hear them, especially if I haven't thought of it yet. So like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for future reviews of Young Justice. Tell your friends, and I will see you on the next video. Thingy. Thingy.